Hello, hello everybody. How are you doing? Tonight I hope that answer is relaxing. So, just getting my gloves on and getting my screen ready so that I can see who comes in to say hello and any questions in the chat box. So, let's pull that up. Beautiful and live chat option. There we go. So, welcome to Tracy Creating. I am Tracy, and throughout this video, may you be inspired, learn something new, or simply relax while you're watching. Just clearing out some air bubbles that had risen to the top because this one here is my white spring brand low sheen acrylic interior house paint and my pouring medium mixture but I just shook up the bottle because I haven't used it in a little while and so there's lots of bubbles so either banging it on the table or hitting it quickly with the torch can help clear out some of those bubbles and more will rise while it sits there oh good evening and how are you going so we've got colors here that are last ofs again how do i keep just having so many leftover paint cups um little bits in the bottom of can, bottles that I've actually had to lay down I gave them a shake sh shook them up and then laid them down so that the paint will all pull into one side and then come to the nozzle so this is the bright yellow sorry about that this is the orange magenta and this one I will have to check, looks like cerulean blue, maybe, because that looks lighter than that, doesn't it? Yeah, it's lighter. Um, <clears throat> the only other one I have is thalo blue, but it could be actually a mix of the two, if I remember rightly. So... Good, thanks. Played with resin today, making coasters. Awesome. Sounds pretty productive. And hello. Hello. Hello, Celine. How are you going? How lovely. Thank you guys for all coming in to say hello and see what happens tonight. So I, I've gotten a little bit behind and I haven't prepared my canvas, so I'm not going to fuss about it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use my lids from my tube paints and we're way out of camera but I can adjust that. I set these down as my legs. making sure they're all in a good position. Beautiful. Straighten you up a bit. There we go. Fantastic. So, I found this little funnel. So, it's quite little. It's about the size of a I know that you can get plastic cups in all different sizes, but about the same as that. Oh my gosh, that gives me an idea. <laughs> oh dear, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. <clears throat> oh, I just calm down now. Okay, so I will pour the paints into this cup. Put the funnel on top. 
flip it over, somehow hold it in place with my fingers, and let it come out that way. How trippy. Just starting, I'll see what they're like tomorrow. Well, fingers crossed for you, Anne. I'll be patiently waiting or impatiently waiting. How about eagerly awaiting the result? Sometimes words, sometimes words just get so muddled up. All right, let's do that. Canvas looks good. This is an eight by ten, and. So trippy, good luck. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so because I know that I'm going to go like this and then like this, I don't normally for a flip cup or a dirty pour or anything like that, I'll put a tiny bit of white in the bottom. This time, I'm not going to. I will put a tiny bit of yellow. Get it to the nozzle. There we go. So in between these squirts, I'll have to keep them on their side. So now I've put a hint of white down the side. That way it's kind of layering in the cup. Just for now, the first layer now, the first round of colours, I will do layered. Actually, I'll do them all layered. Why get particular about that? Okay. Because it's all going to squeeze together to come out of the funnel. I try and get an, a bit of an orange layer there. So this is going to be a predominantly white pour. Uh, um, that's okay because sometimes you want pastels. Um, for that softer, softer look. Uh -oh, see how this is going. So we'll put the magenta next to the orange. Put that up. So these what these colours are the Montmartre colours. And let's give it a moment. Knowing that there's not a lot of each colour might leave that there and get another cup I like being able to grab a cup and stand it in there so that the paint can fall directly to the tip not just the side so white again All right, so we're dropping in from high now. I haven't done any blue. Let's do that. Yeah, see, I think this is a blended mixture of blues. Because it doesn't actually match <clears throat> doesn't match the phthalo blue or the cerulean blue so there we go I might just put a little bit of yellow with that because that will give us a, a shade of green in there some more white and bit of orange and we're done so I'm just 
just let them sit back there if needed. So the flip will be tricky, yes, it will. So you need to have two bottles filled for each colour. Yes, I do, so that when one's finished, I can move on to the next and then clean out the other one. Okay, here we go. That's what that bit looks like at the top. Looks a bit more colourful down the side because I can see the magenta. All right. Balance and precision. Let's see <laughs> how we go. So I'm going to use two hands. I can sort of feel I've already, yeah, here we go. Straight down. I have to give you a different angle. Sorry, I move it where I want it and then the camera arm decides that it's going to move. It doesn't want to be there. So, holding rim to rim, but being able to flip it around and not lose any out the sides will be getting the right spot. Looks like that. And we are going to flip. All right, there we go. So we're just going to let it flow out. Wow, this is quite an orange pour. And I've got so much paint, more than I needed, that's for sure. So we're just about there. That's the end. Now I have to use this hand. Oop. There we go. Look, it's like, how awesome. It didn't flow out or anything around the edges. Sorry, I was really trying to show you. So cool. <laughs> Oh dear. That was pretty quick, wasn't it? Like crazy quick. Yeah, right, let's have a look. You can see all those little bits of colour, but wow, that orange. So I'm figuring uh, it may have been because the orange was the last colour in the cup? No, surely not. That it lined the surface of the funnel and therefore came out a little bit with every time, maybe? I don't know. So, there we go. Hello, hello, Carolyn. How are you? Oh boy, this arm is so painful. Alrighty, you look really wonky. Then the arm, camera arm, looks like it's like this, and then it comes back this way. Okay, you're fine. Awesome. I have finalized some parcels to get posted out it's a little bit exciting I'm not going to fuss about trying to keep it in a particular round shape I'm just going to go back and forth a little bit well there we go I'm going off back 
to the center, out to the edges. Oh, it is opening up and you can see some of those other colors, but it is very, hmm, ghosty, if that's right. Like you can see color under a haze of white. So they're in the background there. How am I? I am great. I've been, once again, it's been another productive day. Thank you for asking. Oh, come on. All right. So that looks like kind of just looks like um something eerie you say beautiful colors carolyn thank you i don't know that i'll leave it like this though so that's that's what i'm thinking right now would i actually leave it like this i don't think so So, actually it looks really different in person to what I see on camera. So let's see if I can get closer. And maybe some of those colours are showing up a little bit more than they were before. Torch and just see. Well, that cleared away some bubbles and left some little speckles. Yeah, I actually don't know how I feel about it as a whole. Um, some of it is not where I thought I was going with it. And I'm just wondering now if I play in it. So I have some gold here. I think this may be one of those pores where I have a play. Nozzle came off your torch tonight and landed in my paw. Oh my gosh, you putting him? What a shame. Hey, hey, Mandy. How are you going? All right, so this one. I'm going to squirt straight from the bottle. That's how I feel about doing this. I'm going to go with spirals because, you know, that's what I love.
I'm sorry for not talking. Momentary lapse of concentration. Let's see if we go back to that different angle, will it show up better? Oh my gosh, seriously. There we go. Okay. No. Still looks awesome after I dab some more paint over my fingerprints. You do. Awesome. I like it. Thank you, Carolyn. Yeah. yeah, I bet your heart was in your mouth too. Jeepers. I don't even know where I'm going with this. I'm just following along some of the lines. And There is a little bit I don't know how to get to. So I'll just go here. Alrighty. Well, that was definitely fun. I was concentrating on that a lot. Um, oh, come off, thank you. But I don't know that the gold overly stands out with all those pastel. But from here on, we'll see how it dries. Um, speaking of drying, oh, I should have done that first. Um, lucky I was alone. He's... No, I, I have a, a camera arm, Carolyn. But it, it doesn't really, it's not meant to go sideways. It's just more so meant to go up and down, back and forth. And I like to try and push the limits. So, I think the gold really makes it awesome. Hi, Sue. How are you going? So, that is one spirally, echoey painting. <laughs> Oh, something a little bit fun. Okay. There we go. All right. So I just had this thought. Let's just come over and have a look at that from this view. See how the gold has, in some areas, it's sunk into the background a little bit. I think it's going to look gorgeous. That metallic gold, uh, it, it just shimmers beautifully when it's dried. So, so that looks awesome. 
awesome sauce right now I'm just trying to work out how I'm going to show you these without getting paint on everything okay Maybe I need to stand up. I don't think there's anything in the house that doesn't creak or groan as you move or open it or close it. Oh, shocking. Okay. going to put fresh gloves on only because I'm really comfortable with my gloves and making sure everything's clean so I'm going to grab four cups hopefully one two um, that one's clean. I can use it. That one is there. Use it. Okay, move that out of the way. And that one. Alright. I'm going to just pop this up for now. Just to make sure... I don't drop anything into my fresh painting. And bring over these. So these were the Perspex squares. So amazing thanks awesome lovely painting thank you what brand is the gold the gold is still semco from spotlight oh so i do have the montmartre gold but i think the i think what's in this container is actually the last of my tubes Gold pops it. Awesome. Superb. Thank you, Celine. Looks like water. Cool, huh? Alright, so let's just have a look. They're dried now. I couldn't show them last night because they weren't dry. If I tilt them slightly, you can see little dents where the silicon brought up a cell. Let's check this one. And sometimes you can see tiny little areas where there's silicon oil. So for starters, let's do this one. So it looks amazing, right? This is the back. How cool. So let's just try and grab a corner. So you can see here, up here and down here is acrylic paint on the back. Ta-da! All cleaned up. Oh, there's a little bit there. So that's the back side. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that amazing how it can be two completely different 
colorings. So if I put down a piece of towel, I can put that face down just because we can then see if it shows up just as well. No. Thank you, you're welcome. Got to go. No problem, thanks Carolyn. So cool. It's crazy, right? Let's get on to the next one. So you can see all the acrylic paint on the back. Try and pick up a corner. Seeing as with my gloves, it's not as easy. So there we go. Very nice. Grab the two bits that were hanging off. Don't stick back down to it. Stubborn is that one. Again, very cool. So that one must go that way. How different, but great both sides. I oh, it's awesome. Like this is just as much as a surprise what's coming out to me. I did pick up one, saw how amazing it looked. I think it was this first one and just put it back down because I thought, no, let's do this all together. So you've got the acrylic paint around the edges. Grab a corner of the plastic, maybe. Here we go, and just watch it peel up. Wow. That is incredible. So I think that one goes there. Can you do all the backs and see if they go together? Yeah, sure, absolutely. I won't leave you hanging for that one, that's for sure. So not as much paint on the back of this one, just a few bits. Must have been a good one, this one. So Peeling that back. Wow. They really do all still go together. Look at that. Two for the prize of one. Exactly. So, wow, that this has really excited me. See if I can get that blue off. It stuck back down after I touched it. There we go. Oh, sorry. that little bit of blue there after I lifted up that plastic it dropped back down so. oh I need another bit there off oh don't scratch the front oh isn't that amazing 
blue, green, deepish kind of colours to pow in your face. <laughs> oh dear, that is so cool. Radio. Well, that's me for tonight. Thank you so much for being here. Would you raise them both sides? Hmm. I. It's not something I've ever thought of. Um, but you wouldn't be able to then put bumpers on it to protect it from like tables and and furniture. So maybe not. There we have it. Thank you for hanging around to see the reveal of this. It was unexpected and I forgot to, well, based on the fact it was unexpected, I didn't mention it earlier. So, there we go. Thank you so much for coming in and joining me for my pour, the funnel pour, which turned out hilarious at the same time, I'm trying to flip it together. But it worked so fantastic my pleasure Anne. good night to you and yeah so I appreciate you so much you're amazing so if you haven't subscribed already please consider doing so give the video a thumbs up on your way out leave a comment below for those watching the replay and share it with others who might also appreciate it Bye, Carolyn. You fell asleep. <laughs> That's okay. I know. I can. I can deal. <laughs> um, yeah. So thank you, guys. All right. Bye, Celine. If you have to go anywhere, please take care. Take precautions. Take care. And from myself, always. Be kind. Be creative. And be fabulous. Bye.